are you going? What will you do? Hey, it's Megan. Brings the world to you. Hello, friends. I am at the Ticketing and Transportation Center at the Magic Kingdom. And I am, I just got a coffee. The Shake of Jamaica is my favorite. Coffee at the parks is from Joffrey's. I totally pick Joffrey's over Starbucks when I'm on property, just because number one, lots of line. Number two, I like Joffrey's better. I do believe. So I think there is a, is the ferry in? No, there is not in. Let's take the monorail. So I've officially made it into the parks and as per usual, I don't have a set plan. It is what it is. I would like to ride on Mansion just because it's spooky season. Halloween is coming up. Other than that, we'll just go as the day takes us. Tonight is a Halloween party, so the park does close at 6 o'clock, and it's about noonish now. So we'll see what all I can do. The first thing I will do is ride the train. I haven't ridden the train. Well, I rode it briefly once, but yeah, let's ride the train. Just miss the train. And it should, so another one should be here in about 10 minutes. And I think maybe I'll ride it until Fantasyland and get off there and walk over to Haunted Mansion from that point. On the app, it said it was a 35 minute wait. And I, yeah, so hopefully it stays about that long uh, until I get there. So if you're ever at the Hall of Presidents and you look up, there's usually a window open. And I've seen princesses kind of stick their heads out. Alright, we made it over to the Haunted Mansion. So yeah. Or is it your imagination? Hmm. 
and consider this dismaying observation. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. So here's the pet cemetery. If you look way in the back, I don't know if he'll come up. Can you see him? Right there. It's Mr. Toad. Because, you know, we used to have a Mr. Toad here at this Magic Kingdom, but it got closed back in the 90s and was replaced by Winnie the Pooh. So yeah, a little shout out to Mr. Toad. So that was a lot of fun. I hungry. A little hungry. And I think I might go into Harbor House. I wasn't a fan of it the last time I went. But maybe I'll get something else. Try them out. And then go from there. So what I ended up getting was, it's called a trio platter. The lighting's not great in here, sorry. But it's chicken fingers, um, fish, and shrimp. Some fries. And it was $14.29 plus tax. So... I like this more than the lobster roll that I had here last time. We'll see. I also forgot to mention, we get some uh, hush puppies. So I will say that was much better than what I had last time. I enjoyed it more. That being said, Magic Kingdom was my least favorite place to get food on property. So take that with what it is. I was contemplating what I could do next. And it's so easy for me to say, like, Pirates of the Caribbean. Something along those lines. But I thought, maybe I'll do something that I don't normally do. So I'm going to go to uh, all the presidents. It's an evening dress. National Humanitarian Award, loan courtesy of the Jim Carter President Library in Atlanta. Look at that. And then this dress is on loan as well. It's a dress that Rosalind wore. Ro Rosalind Carter, that is, of course. A bust of good old Walt and it looks like his nose has gotten rubbed a little bit Lincoln great moments with Mr. Lincoln it was one of the first kind of like shows um, that Walt did uh, they were approached to develop a new show concept for New York World's Fair and so they turned to Walt's childhood hero which was Mr. Lincoln and then that kind of morphed into um, the Hall of Presidents, which um, was the first, the world's first realistic human animatronic, audio animatronic show. Here's one. It's um, like a bow tie type of thing. You could see Reagan wearing it in this picture. I could get the glare off. And it's on loan from its presidential library in um, California. Thomas Jefferson's Bakke Watch, which is on loan uh, from his library in uh, Virginia. This is FDR's Franklin Delano Roosevelt's Fishing Reel with Box, um, circa 1935. And this is on loan from uh, his Presidential Library and Museum in Hyde Park, New York. 
George W. Bush's Texas Rangers Death Jacket. On loan from his library. And then over here is Jimmy Carter. He looks like his fly fish gear. Of course, on loan from his presidential library. And a painting that Dwight Eisenhower did on loan from his um, presidential library in uh, Kansas. It's pretty cool that things are on loan uh, from the different presidential libraries. Uh, now, I can't imagine too many places, theme parks get loaned out, especially things from uh, the presidential libraries. So, it's pretty neat. The seal of the United States of America kind of set up to be like the rotunda area and then this over here is the entrance to the theater so it should be op be opening up soon it is shopkeepers farmers and native american allies to victory over the greatest military power in the world. A new nation has been born, independent and free. The founders must form a national government. In 1787, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the United States of America. And that notification on the 14th day of April, 1789, that you had selected me to lead our nation. But it was with a confidence that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. The President. Hello. So that was fun. Everyone is getting ready for a parade to come through. So I'm thinking I might start heading out uh, before the park officially closes so I miss the mass exodus before the Halloween party tonight. So we'll see what we get to do on the way out. But I'm going to start looking my way out front to see the weather has been quite lovely. Breezy. So it's warm but not unbearable. So I popped in to the Emporium and I've noticed they already have Christmas stuff out. Look at this jer uh, spirit jersey. I love it. Peter Pan, Alice Bambi. Love it. I really like it. How much is it? I don't see price, but I'm guessing around 70. Lounge by. These ears. How much are the ears? Let's see. Maybe 35? That would be my guess. 39. Oh, it's this spirit jersey. I like this one a lot. I might go to the confectionery just to see if I could pick up something sweet for dessert. But I'm also popping in to see if I could find any pin trading stands. Sometimes they have them out. I don't see them. So let's go check out the confectionery. Look at these apples. And then down here they have 
crispy treats. Let's see what they have behind the mirror. Caramel apples. And cookies. The peanut butter. That looks good, the peanut butter pie. Get one of these peanut butter cookie pie made with m and peanut butter candies. I have never tried one of their uh, Rice Krispie treats, so maybe I will give it a try this like today. And you could also watch them make the candies. I got my goodies. Um, I'm right by the front gate. And I figured I might as well wait for the parade because uh, it'll be down the road in just barely any time. So then I will head out after the parade because that's how things go. All right, friends, I think I'm going to actually go ahead and call it a day. Bypass the parade. I've seen it a few times anyway. Um, so until next time, take care. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.